Students often ask me with questions like, they're like, Kevin, do we need to factorize this part over here at the top? Well, I typically say no, you don't have to. But what you do need to do is you need to make sure that your denominators are factorized. So if you can realize that this is a trinomial, so if we factorize that, it's going to give us x plus 5 and x plus 3. And that's going to be equal to 3 over x plus 3. So now we should be able to see that our common denominator is going to be x plus 5 and x plus 3. So we can say LCD is going to be x plus 5 and x plus 3. So that allows us to then work out our restriction. So our restriction we can put over here. And so we can say that x plus 5 must not equal 0 and x plus 3 must not equal to 0. So therefore x will be negative 5 or x must not be equal to negative 3. So negative 5 and negative 3. Alright, so what we should realize now is that this one needs to be multiplied by x plus 3 because it already has the x plus 5. This one doesn't need anything and then this one still needs x plus 5. So let's do that in the next step. So it's going to say 2x in brackets x plus 3 over x plus 5 x plus 3 plus x squared minus x plus 10 over x plus 5. This one doesn't need anything. I don't even need the brackets. I don't know why I did that. x plus 5, x plus 3 equals to 3 multiplied by x plus 5 and then over the denominator of x plus 3 and x plus 5. Okay, so now that the denominators are the same, we can cancel and then we can go multiply out. So that's going to give us 2x squared plus 6x. Nope, remember, I'm breaking the rule. We want to first write everything down, just to avoid silly mistakes. Sometimes the examples are a bit more difficult. Okay, so now we multiply out. So that's going to give us 2x squared plus 6x plus x squared minus x plus 10 equals to 3x plus 15. Now we need to put all the like terms together, so I'm going to put these x squares together, so that's going to be 3x squared. Then I'm going to say plus 5x on the left here, because that's 6 minus 1, and then plus 10 equals to 3x plus 15. We then take the x's to the left, where we're going to get minus 3x plus 10 minus 15. And so that's going to be 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. And so now we need to, I would just use the quadratic formula over here, to be very honest. And that gives us answers of x equals to 1 or x equals to negative 5 over 3. I then look at my restrictions. I realize that none of the restrictions are in our answers. And so we are good to go. That is our answer.